I feel an explosion is in order here. Oh, that even hurt me. <laughs>《7 Days to Die》I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and our map is made up almost entirely of a wasteland biome uh, generated by the Nitrogen Map Creator. And um, so we spent an uneventful night in the Cathedral Steeple, and I debated whether or not I wanted to come and try and get uh, Nicole's treasure just because we're, you know, our inventory is so full. And I figured, ah, what the hell, let's come over here and see see what it is and see if we can make room for it. Um, and with, this is some really rugged terrain. So what I ended up doing is the cathedral's right here, um, or right here, somewhere over here. And uh, we kind of came across country here, and then I came up this road and then had to kind of cross over here and come back this way to get to uh, where the treasure is. So uh, pretty pretty nasty terrain uh, up this way. And, you know, if we look north, too, I mean, there's def <laughs> definitely no green biome in the... I mean, how close are we to the center? Uh, I mean, maybe off this way, but definitely not up this way. So we don't, we don't, have, to, we don't have to search up there at all. Uh, all right, so anyway... What I want to do is, let's go ahead and, there's a couple things I can move over here. So I can move the leather and the bones over, and uh, the, we got a full stack of feathers, so we can't move any feathers over. Oh, we can move uh, the bow parts over, so that gives us another sl slot, so now we have six slots available. And is there anything else? Yeah, we could move... No, not those. We could move th these over. There. That gives us seven slots. Anything else that I'm missing here that we could smooth, move? Papers over there. Shotgun. Oh, we have shotgun parts. Okay, so here, let's do this. Let's scrap this. And then we can move shoddy parts over, too. Awesome. Okay, so that gives us eight slots for whatever is in Nicole's treasure. And I think that's it, right? I don't think there's anything else we can move over. Nothing, nothing's jumping out at me. I should be careful what I ask for in the wasteland, huh? We don't want stuff jumping out at us. That's, that's not good. Not good at all. Um, let's swap the leather for that. And let's swap the meat for the silver, because th these are items that we're not likely to be looting again anytime soon. Um, let's swap the paper for the rifle parts. And the bones, let's swap for the mushroom seeds. All right, cool. So, let's uh Oh, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, okay, so the treasure's here. We have we don't have Lucky Looter goggles, but we do have three points in Lucky Looter itself, which uh, narrows buried, down buried treasure locations to five meters, which is good. So that means uh, it is kind of on a hillside, unfortunately, but at least it's only... Only five meters here. Let's Let's do this little trick here. Let me go up just a little bit more. Yeah, that's pretty damn close. Let's start here. Um, I hear a dog close by. So, I mean, he can come from anywhere, so let's just... Uh, let's move over here and set the... Oh. It's too too steep. Okay. We'll set it that way. Okay, we just have to be on the lookout because this um, auger might uh, attract some attention. Okay.
I want to be careful that we don't hit the treasure itself. Well, we set that turret up in the right place, didn't we? There we go. Okay. That took a little longer to find than usual, but it was kind of weird, janky terrain. All right, let's see what we got. Um, actually, hold on. First of all, let's definitely get rid of this. I'd like to maybe hang on to this stuff if we can, just because we could use those resources, but let's just see how we're doing. Okay, that's a nice little chunk of change. And uh, breaching slugs. Do these do... Damage to entities? It looks like they do. 120 versus 14. Uh, 140, uh, assuming you get all, all pellets. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Uh, but hey, almost 4,000 coin. That means we can start buying food from vending machines if we if we get desperate. So, cool. Okay. Let's pick you up. That's like the first actual money we've really, I mean, significant amount of money that we've uh, come into so far. Okay, let's see. We left the bike up here, didn't we? All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. Um, there's a bunch of dogs down there. I want to, uh, we need to head home because we're, we're basically just totally full up. So I'm basically going to go south from here. Um, what is that? That's a drop. I might see if I can swing over and locate that drop too. Plus we'll uncover a little bit more territory here. It's, I mean, there's a possibility there could be a green biome in here, but not likely. In fact, almost not at all because of the fact that we would we would have seen it on the horizon, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work my way back here. I'm not really going to do anything significant um, in terms of looting because of the fact that we are out of space. I will I'll hit bird's nests and kill snakes, um, but I probably am not going to like loot cars or anything like that just because, again, I don't have space. And when I get home... And get my inventory situated. I'll bring you guys back at that point, and then we'll start making plans for the next uh, leg of the trip. Okay, so I will be back in a little bit. Don't go away. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, didn't make it very far because look what I found. <laughs> uh, a big crack of bookstore, and this is, not, this is not something I think I can afford to pass up right now. We need to go in there um and uh read all the schematics we can so yeah i mean I, I literally didn't make it very far this little red flag was where we were i followed this road down uh into this other valley but the the end of the the world's right about here the northern border and i didn't see anything down there anyway uh except for a couple of POIs. so um this is a pretty damn big town too really if you think about it it's bigger than bigger than ours unless it's two towns together i don't know and then there's a that could be a shoddy messiah store there too. I don't know, but let's um let's go ahead and take a look see in here. Um I think what we're gonna need to do too is let's put a drop chest down. Just so I'm not going in there like packed to the max. Or damn near to the max anyway. Okay, this could be uh this could be hairy. <laughs> this place uh, can have some mean zombies in it, and it doesn't have a lot of uh, choke points either, so we're going to have to really be careful here. In fact, I almost wonder if we maybe shouldn't set ourselves up a little, a little platform.
Man, we got everybody's attention. All right, come here, dummy. You too, huh? Gonna make me blow all my ammo. Oh, shit! We can't handle that many. No siree, Bob. Let's lead him away, though. <laughs> Them damn running hordes, man. Scariest thing ever. This is a shoddy messiah. Ah. Okay. Let's go wide around here and a, and a working stiff. So, oh my goodness. Lots of stuff to loot around here. We're probably just going to have to come back here later. I mean, we're going to do the bookstore. But the rest of them, I'll come back for later. Okay, we lose them for the most part. Yeah, man, that was a... <laughs> I wasn't messing with that. No siree. We might have to pick a couple of the stragglers off, though. Alright, here. Let's scrap that. Let's get rid of the plastic and the mechanical parts. We don't have room for that stuff right now. Oh, son of a... Man, everybody wants a piece of old guy. Oh, hey, you're not dead? Now you are. <laughs> you cut that crap off, man. Okay. What am I doing? I want this down here. And I want this down here. Uh, no, actually, I want this down here. Okay. Make sure we're all reloaded here. Whoops. Okay. Ah, shit. He went down right when I pulled the trigger. Let's get this guy next. Okay. All right. I don't see any of the rest from around, but there's probably they're probably right all over around in there. But as long as they're not like really close to the bookstore, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, man, that was <laughs> that was like bad timing. Of course, I don't, I, don't, I can't really think of a of good timing for a wandering horde. It's always bad timing. All right, I need you out of the way. Should probably use my machete for that, huh? Or at least the axe. Where is my machete? Right here. All right, let's get rid of that. We'll put this in there. Uh, we can put the hide in there and the iron. Okay, so let's put a frame down here. That we can use to hop up there really quick. Why are these buzzards just randomly attacking me? We have a buzzard horde? Never know in the wasteland. They're all over the place. Okay, so here's what we want to do. 
we want to put make sure that's on our toolbar so we can repair and we'll put the pistol down here we've got a pretty decent supply of nine mil ammo so I'm probably just going to use the nine mil on them as opposed to the sledgehammer well actually if it's if it's just one then we'll use the uh Should we put those to use? <laughs> if it's just one, we'll use the sledgehammer. If we get multiples, we'll use the, the pistol or the shotties. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this out and see what's going to happen here. If we can funnel them through the door... ...and control them from here... ...that would be fine, too. But if we get, like, a big group of them, that's what we, we're we going to use that for. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should also... Put this right here. Maybe a little closer. There we go. Put that guy to work for us, man. Okay, so. Okay, there's a big mama there. Yeah, one thing we could try is let's see if we can do some silent pulls. Nice work, turret. Sure, what for? <laughs> okay, that worked out pretty good. That worked out pretty damn good. Uh, damn it. What is this thing? got somebody else's attention. Hey! Okay, I gotta time this right. Oh uh, yeah, that part about timing it right? really hate buzzards. Really, 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 really hate buzzards. Get out of here. All right. Um, now, can we put our thing down? Okay. At some point, I'm going to start saving the, the spoiled meat so we can start thinking about a garden, but I'm not really going to do that until we find the green biome. At least that's the, the plan at the moment. Okay, pick you up. Get you reloaded. You are helping helping out quite a bit, though, Mr. Junk Turt. Really appreciate that. Just throw that out there. Okay, let's try this again. Sneaky, sneaky shots. Pull one or two at a time and we got this. We just don't want to pull the whole damn place all at once. Okay. Let's start looting. Uh, reload rifles 10% faster. Yes, please. I will take that. 
Where's my axe? Axe, axe, axe. No time for that stuff. Is this going to be one of those book bookstores that has, like, almost all empty bookshelves? God, I hate that. Yeah, look at that. That's bullshit. Bullshit! Okay. There we go. Nice. So we know... Oh, nice too. We know the... Um, uh, we, know, we know both grenade recipes now. Night Stalker, do 10% more sneak damage at night. Okay. That might come in handy later on. We don't spend a lot of time outside at night, though. There we go. Oh, man, that was a super good find. That was a super good find. Because we I've actually been saving the blood bags back... Back at the base. And we got lots of nitrate. Don't want that stuff. Is there a safe down here? I think we just aggroed somebody. Okay. All right, um, let's go over to the kitchen. Oh, nice. We got a working vending machine. Okay. Uh, I have, yeah, let's buy the grain alcohols too, because we need those for the, the, the first aid kits. I really have nothing else to spend money on right now, so I might as well spend it on food and and good beverage, right? That's what we should do. Once we find a trader, then we'll start worrying about building up our our cash. But uh, bird in the hand and all that, right? We need to uh, uh, take one of these. Get rid of those, and let's throw back one of these to help counter the pills. Okay. Shit. Oh! <laughs> that didn't work so well. <laughs> Off with his head, you bastard. Okay. See, that's the problem with with putting the the frame one out is sometimes you miss it. The problem with putting it right up against there is the zombies can more quickly jump up there. So it's kind of a, you know, 
damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Here, while we're here, let's put this food away. We'll keep the yucca with us. And uh, we're probably not going to find another vending machine in there, so let's put that away too. Alright, so this room should be clear now. What do we got? Nothing. There we go. There we go. Uh, we have sc scrapped brass in our loot, so let's go ahead and take that. Oh, nice. Okay. That was worthwhile coming in there. I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, he's feral. <laughs> okay, well, that worked out. I'm like, oh, shit, he's feral. Okay, if that takes care of the bottom floor. Let's head on up stairs, and then we gotta get we gotta get moving if we're gonna try and get you home by nightfall. Oh my goodness! Look at all the sleepies up here. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I feel an explosion is in order here. Oh, that even hurt me. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's make sure we jump up high enough this time. Wow, that went through the floor and even nailed me a little bit. Damn, we are still pretty bad hurt. Well, that grenade blast we just took didn't help. Why the hell didn't you guys just follow me downstairs? Dumb zombies. Oh, she did. There you go, Nurse Nancy. Feral Nurse Nancy. I don't think Nurse Nancy appreciated uh, our little... Our little grenade gift that we gave her. Whew, okay. Uh, we'll put that there. Alright, everybody loaded? You are, you are, you are. Okay. I think we put that grenade to pretty good use. Okay. Could still be sleepers on the other side, but let's uh, loot this. Side. Look at all the leather in here. A lot of leather in this place if you we're looking for one. And all the empty damn bookshelves too. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining because that was worth the price of admission right there. We've gotten a couple of good things. It's just that this POI back Alpha 16, you know, and earlier was loaded with bookshelves. There was probably oh, oh man, nice. There was probably at least twice as many bookshelves, lootable bookshelves in this store. Uh, 
All right. Um, pre alpha 17 and then it just, it just got fucking skimpy, man. Ah, uh, oh, well, like I said, I got to stop complaining because we are finding some decent stuff. All right. We'll take that and this we already know. So we're just going to scrap it or actually, you know what? We have plenty of paper. Let's get the XP from it. Not much, but you know, every little bit helps, right? Okay, and uh, melt in the shadows and sneak better. Oh, that's going to come in handy. That's really going to come in handy. Because, like I said, I am I am thinking about a late game stealth build. Okay, we already know the SMG. The last shot in the chamber does double damage. Okay, that might come in handy later on, maybe. Uh, increase attack speed with access by 5%. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, see, all those bookshelves are empty. All right, here we go. Uh, targets within three meters have a higher dismember chance. Okay. We don't use our shotgun too much outside of three meters anyway, so that's very useful. Power attacks to like slow enemies. Alright. Does that only count for, like, clubs and baseball bats, though, or does that also work, I wonder, with uh, the sledge? Don't know. Alright. Take that, scrap that, and take that. I'd be more amenable to doing those yellow paper quests on normal difficulty, but un unless you're like in the end game and you're like just loaded to the max, they're really dangerous to do on Insane Nightmare because you're out in the open, so you have no cover, right? And it spawns in a bunch of zombies, and sometimes they're pretty nasty zombies. I suppose you could make a platform first, you know, but I don't know. But definitely not something we can do or should do at this point. All right, I think we're done here. Doesn't this place have a uh, end loot? Am I missing something? There's no, there are no rooms up here. So if it does, I don't know where it would be. Maybe it doesn't have end loot. Because it is an older POI. Oh, wait. We missed a, a crate there. I'm glad I came back up here. Ah, look at that. Powered doors and bridge schematic. Woo. That was a nice find, too, for later on. Okay, well, no, I guess not. I mean, I don't know where it would be. Because we've already been, you know, back here. So it probably just doesn't have any loot. Because honestly, I haven't even been in this POI in a long time. Probably, I, I can't remember if I visited it at all in Alpha 17. Definitely was in it in Alpha 16. All right, well, our little platform served us well. Let's just repair it. Because who knows, we might come back here again someday. I don't know if we would actually use it, though, because none of our loot respawns. Okay, let's grab you and make sure that you are loaded. Okay, no more looting. I mean, there's some nice places in this town. We can always come back later, but we've got to get scooching if we even have a prayer of getting home before nightfall. I mean, we're not that far away. It just depends upon the terrain, you know? Uh, so, what do we want to take back? Can we... It's going to be more of a question of what can we leave. There's a few things we can put in here. Uh, or is there? Maybe there isn't. We can put that in there. 
Uh, we need to eat, so here, let's just do this. Let's eat that. Scrap a doodle. Um, let's have a can of peas as well. I'm not spotting anything else in here. So, but that gives gave us three spots, and we only needed two. All right, we got everything, man. We haven't we don't have room for anything else, but we got everything. <laughs> Sure, we're all loaded. Okay. We're heading for home. It'd be very really nice if we had a, a road the whole way, but I don't know, man. Hey, is that one of the old caves? Ooh, oh no. Well, actually it could be. It could be one filled with water. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, my complaint about the bookstore wasn't that we didn't get good stuff in there. We did. It's it's just that they've nerfed the quantity of bookshelves that we used to have. I mean, severely nerfed it, in my opinion. Man, I'm not seeing a road. We're going to have to go cross-country, I think. Not my idea of a good time, but... Go away, buzzard. Let's just go quickly to this end of town and see if there's a a road leading south. Oh, the Fates Motel. That place is cool. We'll have to do that sometime. Oh, there is a road here. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's going southeast. So let's follow it for a little ways, but if it starts going more east than south, we're probably going to have to bail on it. I'll tell you one thing, man. There is corn all over the place in the wasteland. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't I didn't tell it to, uh, to make extra farms. I just, I think I just left it on like the default. Um, I actually set up most of the settings of this map, but then I, I gave it to Terry Beer to, uh, to make some further custom modifications, basically to make it, you know, all wasteland with the green biome in the, in the middle. Cause you can make, you can tell, uh, nitrogen, you know, to make an all wasteland map, but you can't tell it to make an all wasteland map and then put a green biome you know, one green biome in it. So that's why what I had Terry do for me. Oh, man. This is some nasty stuff here. <laughs> We've got like 10 buzzards following us. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. I hope this road doesn't just abruptly end. All right. It is, it is going more east than south, so I think we're going to have to cut cross-country. Unless we can find another dirt road that heads back westerly. Alright, we better deal with these buzzards. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Oh! Looks like we can follow this highway down here and then wrap around and come right back to town. However, this is where I estimated the drop is. So, knowing that we have a road home now, let's just... I mean, if we, if we get caught out after dark for a little bit, as long as we're on a road, we might be safe. <laughs> Okay, so I, I estimated that that drop fell somewhere around in here. So you know what we'll do? Uh, 
That's probably our town right over there. We could probably get, go straight across the wasteland and just kind of run in a line from the where I think the drop probably would have been. It's not an exact science by any stretch of the imagination. So we'd want to actually start here. Well, I guess we're going to start here. Let's get kind of over more this way. Okay, we're in line now. Oh, no, no. No, we got to go. Hope this isn't a bad idea. Yeah, no, I think we're fine. Our, our town's not that far away. I was thinking it was further away than it is. Okay, so, um, uh, let's go back that way. We're, we're, a, wait, we're a lot closer than I thought we were. Let's go back that way a little bit. Oh, God damn it. Such a nuisance. The drop could be anywhere around here. It could even be inside the military facility, which, if it is, we're not going in there right now. No siree. I'm just going to take a quick scan for it. I'm not going to spend a million years looking for it, but just a kind of a quick... Ooh, that's a little bit of a hole, isn't it? Every time I see the green trees like that, I get excited because I think, oh, green biome, but... They're just growing kind of by themselves. All right, we need to go. If we find it, we find it. If we don't, we don't. However, we did find the blue pistol in the last drop. That was a nice find. Really nice find. Okay, so this is about the line here. No, sorry, I'm not going to stop for the snake this time. I should, but... We actually have a nice supply of meat. Yeah, I think we're too close now. So it's probably... It's back way off in the boonies somewhere, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Maybe we'll look for it some other time. Hey, we're home, though. Look at all the landmines. Home sweet home. There's a snake. Get him, turret. Oh, shit. I was trying to get my spear on my... Got him. Yeah, we're bringing back over a full stack of meat, which is great. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, well, um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to go home. I'm going to smack the shit out of this buzzard. No, actually, let's just blow him up. That's what I should do is level up uh, 
hand-to-hand -hand combat for the sole purpose of punching those buzzards out. That'd be very satisfying, not gonna lie. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna hang out at home tonight, get all my inventory sorted and, and squared away. Uh, if I have a little time left over, I might do some underground mining, we'll see. And then in the morning, we will, uh, we will uh, decide which direction we're going to go next, because I am really itching to find that green biome. I want to, really want to find it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.